So hey guys, welcome to another Natsu Reviews, and I brought more guests, like I said I would! Okay, so, uh, I, yeah, I'm not gonna go along with your lie. He has to be really quiet. It's Walker. Hey, I have to be quiet because I'm in trouble right now. <laughs> in his own house. In yeah, his own house. Alrighty, um, next up. Also from the Ruby Abridged, everybody but me. No, wait, I'm included. All four people are in Ruby Abridged. Yes! Yeah, you're. you're, you're uh, we can't what? say what role you're in because it's not out yet. But I've it's already. It does but come out. It's uh, not. We'll say that we've we've got his lines recorded, and it, it, it'll yeah. be soon. You'll see. Oh, yeah. it. You'll. Yeah, know. I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's not tentative. We've already done the. <laughs> we've already done my work for it. So yeah. Um, sadly, sadly, however, ladies and gentlemen, it is not Jean Arc. Even Sadly. though I did yes, recent, I, 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 I did recently cast. find out, I did recently find out from these other two that uh, my Jean Arc is actually uh, what's the what's the on point? I believe that's Adequate. what the kids are saying. Adequate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, you know, why'd you have to Jean me like that? <laughs> because Ooh. you're in the Jean zone. <laughs> I, don't know I just got I just got Jeaned on my own show. Education. It's very educational. Oh gosh, very what? educational. Oh, it if is Punday Sunday. If you couldn't tell, uh, uh, it is, is Punday Sunday. This is uh, Celeste. She is the yeah. voice of Yang in our Ruby Bridge series. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, the bad puns were already a dead giveaway. <laughs> They're just uh, built true. in. And then yeah, we've got Punday Blue. Sunday. Happy we're... day. Yeah. We got Blue, who uh, wave at the camera that isn't there. Hi. She's probably doing it right now Hi, because she is a follower. Uh, Blue voices Ruby. Hello, people of the internet who don't know me. Yeah. What's really funny? What's really funny is this isn't actually her putting on a voice or anything. That's her yeah, natural personality it's and her scary, natural it's voice. It's perfect. Her Please Ruby is. Don't be on like point. Lily her ruby is on point and, and be together like, you're faking it and together that means that means technically i don't care what you say i'm jean damn it we have two members of team ranger because after oh saying God. it for so long yeah team junior just doesn't sound cool anymore doesn't sound cool anymore I'm I'm, uh, but uh, but Richie, I am really excited to talk about episode five because uh my my sweet boy son gets gets to do so much this episode God I love him uh, you finally sweet, understand more about his sweet character. baby boy my sweet baby uh, he boy. Just followed me home let's just let's just go ahead and get this out of the way get all the jokes like f out of the way from the beginning and not all Aww. of the jokes but at least this one out of the way from the beginning yes it is confirmed that menagerie is where sun and moon take place oh hey! <laughs> yes. it's actually Poke kind of funny because i sent you that like a co like the day the episode came out i said hashtag confirmed <laughs> menagerie <laughs> no, okay, is okay, the alola because, region <laughs> because literally True. because literally all you all you, like what you typed to me showed up on my phone and it was like Half the letters were below because really you hashtagged it and you didn't capitalize the first letter of each word. I, I was like, it took me five minutes to piece it together. I'm like, did you I just drunk it. text just... me about Ruby? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, honestly, honestly. Okay. First off, that's the first time a dude's ever drunk texted me. So <laughs> oh that would have been oh, one look. heck of a success story right there. But no, um, I, no, I, I had to, I had to translate what the hell you were trying to say? And then eventually, <laughs> five minutes later, I got it. I was like, God, put, capitalize the first letter of each new word. It makes things easier to read. <laughs> I hate when people don't do that. It's I just, should have just put to spaces. To me, it's just, it's like confirmed menagerie is a, a Lola? Or is he trying to yeah, say Lolita? It's a Lola. What the <laughs> it's a Lolita, the Lola now. region. I mean, I mean come a, on. Blake's yeah. a cat. Just put her in a meat outfit. She'll be fine. But, but, oh, but dude, we, yes. <laughs> we, we get off the boat. And it's just 
there's there's pine straw huts, there's palm trees, everybody's like super chill, and nobody takes the White Fang seriously. It's the Alodala region, because Team Skull is the White Fang, let's face it. <laughs> True. <laughs> no oh one my cares. Gosh, it is! That, that's right. kind of scary. We're so, gonna blow up this building. No one cares, perfect. White Fang. Go home. Just go ah! home. True. First we get first we get Sun commenting on how crowded it is around there, and apparently Sun doesn't like confined spaces. Which begs to differ, how the hell did he survive on the boat? I was about to say, ah! like, he was on a boat for how many days? <laughs> right? Maybe because it rocks back and forth, it's it's comforting. <laughs> <whereas> <laughs> he <being> stows <laughs> away. He stows away all the time. And so you normal- think he's used to cramped places. Maybe he just doesn't like crowds of people. And that, hey guys, maybe that's it. I, I don't see anything wrong about it. I'd, I'd like to comment though on how we like they get off the boat and again uh, Celeste again, said it earlier menagerie means what? It's oh. like what do you call it? It's like a display of animals or something. It's kind of like a zoo. Oh yeah, so, it's where they keep yeah. the animals in captivity. That's what it is. Yeah. So, I remember that. I find Thanks, it funny school. that the regions you called that, and all of the faunas are just yeah. You over think, one third you of the think they didn't plan that on purpose? Come I on, I know they did. Uh, yep. All right. So, uh, just, Speaking just of, to go ahead and... of the continent are desert. Yeah. That's, that's fun. Uh, just to go ahead and forewarn the rest of our listeners, yes, Celeste will be doing lots of puns, but that don't worry, her jokes You're are pretty welcome. harmless. Pun warning. <laughs> yeah, her, her jokes are pretty Hashtag harmless. triggered. Understand this. You will never get me to stop making horrible puns, especially on Pun Day Sunday. You know, I don't want to Celeste, next Pun Day Sunday, I'm bringing my friend Tyler in here, and we will prove once and for all who is the supreme pun master. Oh, God, no. oh really? I like I'm not to sure. That. You know, I'm not sure the review can handle that. We're starting a oh, war that is not review. good for this channel. Oh, well, I was fixing to say this. This is this is just a side challenge. Why are you picking on the fairy tale podcast like that, man? <laughs> We're not that mean. Uh, all right, so moving on, moving on, we get Sun, uh, kind of addressing the issues that we more or less Sun just kind of recap the most recent world of remnant for us in his yeah. sun way uh, i just think it's because sun's from vacuo and mistral where there's not a heavy faunus population so he just doesn't really get it <laughs> That's true. probably uh i i also love like all the different types of faunus that you see um and then you got a you got a you got a snake. There was a snake, but <laughs> I was about to say I want a snake one. Because there was that one with the scales on his face. I won't be yeah. I want a dragon like, one. A snake. And then we like had dragon wings. Hey. We had the village, and what was really cute about it was like when when he's like, "Which one do you live in? Is it yeah. that one? Is it that little that one? one over there? I like the I paint. like the paint on that one. I like the paint." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and she just moves his hand over to the big like Chinese style house, and he's like. Blake's, oh Blake's facial expressions and the way that her ears went uh, went with her emotions in this one was so freaking well done. It was adorable. So well done. I still say the best moment was uh, where where she most definitely looked cat-like. We'll get to it in a minute, but I just wanted to point it out now. was the part where uh, her mom said she liked Sun. And then she and turns like, and goes, Mom! She's like, are you cur- kidding me right now? Not in front of a No, no. <laughs> no but uh, I think I think the I think the one thing that made that really brought this episode for me is the fact that I was looking at this episode and I'm like, okay, I don't see how Blake is now allowed to give Weiss all this shit about being rich when her family <laughs> basically owns Menagerie. I know, right? Well, no, they run Menagerie. They don't own Yeah, it. it's the same thing. <laughs> No, it's really not. Oh. Well, the Schnees don't own Atlas. They just help run it. So technically, Blake owns more than Weiss does. <laughs> no. By transitive property of land owning. If you're comparing... Uh, no. Uh, no, if you're comparing <laughs> Menagerie and Atlas... Oh, boy. Those are nowhere near similar in landmass. I guess we're having a fight over or Team Blake and size. Team Weiss. Fight! Fight! Yeah. Fight! 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 Also, you know, no, 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 no. You know what, Celeste? After your last joke, you can't encourage a fight. In fact, go yang yourself. Oh. So <laughs> Pun Excuse day, me. Sunday Are you yanging again. on my chain right now? No, I know you wouldn't say that. Don't break my heart. Come on. <laughs> don't break your heart. Yeah. Did oh, you notice what I did there? 
Did you schnee what I did there? Uh, you know, it really white stung. Celeste. It, it <laughs> really, it really, really stung. But you know, I think the end of volume three kind of took care of that bumblebee for me. Oh. All right. So moving on. <laughs> I, love I don't know Sun, what I should. So I love how Sun it. actually comments on a lot of the things that the audience is thinking. Like <laughs> True. when Blake walks up and knocks on the door with the little knocker, and that was intimidating. Lo- <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, that was intimidating. I'm like, yes, yes, Sun, it very much was. Thank you. Sun is there to be the icebreaker, and he's adorably good at it. Mm-hmm. I-, I loved that in volume four though like her dad appears it's like blake my little blake and it's like i brought a boy home and it's like sup and i'm like uh, <laughs> son True. son uh, is like, not how you when act mom was like so why is he here again he followed me home <laughs> the dad's just <laughs> like ready part, to go after the part he's just like well i seen your daughter in action she's pretty hey. good and then the dad's just like what do, what you, do mean you mean by, by that I mean that she's a kick-ass fighter. Oh, son. This tea is really good. (laughs) I like him. I like him. (laughs) I I really enjoyed enjoyed, uh, just the reaction of her parents when she first showed up. Uh, Especially, like, how how timid uh, Blake looked as her mom came out. And she's like, hi, mom. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just like, yep, that's a normal reaction from a runaway teen. Uh, <laughs> and then, I mean, her dad is like a lion man. Let's face it, he he is lion o. You're not lying about it. Uh huh. <laughs> that that's that definitely explains a good bit of Blake's personality, though. To be honest, do you think that Blake's dad's weapon is going to be called the Sword of Omens? Be no. Please, please no. Please let it be that. No. Please let it be no. that. Don't call it oh, that. Oh, man, because... that would be really interesting. <laughs> no, but it's do not... also a gun. <laughs> do not call it that. Do not call it that. Rooster Teeth, you don't need the copyright harassment. <laughs> That's true. True. Yeah. The so- the... Okay, fine, fine, fine. The Sword of Forbearing. Same thing. I don't know if I could bear hearing that one. Uh, it's a line. You have to make a different <gasps> The Sword of Foreshadowing. True. Oh, <laughs> Basically no. the same thing. And then her parents die. I'm kidding. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I, well, that's some serious. I, now you get a transmutation right circle. I mean, Yang already lost one arm, and she loses a leg to try to bring bring another character back. It's like full metal alchemist all over again. I would love to see. Well, it. I mean, considering how many FMA people are actually in this series, I'm True. not surprised. Um. It did focus really, really heavily on Blake this episode. I thought they were going to divvy it up a little bit uh, instead of the way that it went about. I mean, yeah, the tail end, they got back to other story, but uh, for the most part, it was pretty much Blake heavy. And then I, I, I liked the fact that we actually learned more about the White Fang and that they're well, not yeah, that's the, I all think that's like the I mean we, we 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 all know that they're just a terrorist organization. Let's face it, oh. like, th- there's no reason for them to be all polite about it. That's what they do. Yeah. They when they came they be like when, brother Adam is branching out. It's like no, he's not. Come when on, they came and knocked on the door. Halt. When they came and knocked on the door and were talking with him, I immediately was like, okay, if he's not the b- leader of the White Fang, he was before, and, there were, and then they confirmed it. And I was like, sweet! Uh, also, uh, also, I don't know which one was which, but one of those two White Fang members was voiced by Mike McFarland, who is a big Funimation alum. So, Rooster Teeth grabbing up Funimation uh, voiceover actors like crazy, because on top of that, they also got uh, Kent Williams as well, who we've interviewed before, if you checked our interviews. It has been hey. so long since we talked with him uh, about fairy tale stuff that I can't believe I've actually forgotten who he is in fairy tale. But I know he's someone important. Shame. I remember Kidding. that much. <laughs> you can throw shame at shame me. All day. Shame. Shame. All right. So, and then, uh, and then we have Tara Platt. As Blake's mother, who I will never forget because she is Tamari, and I did indeed run a Naruto podcast before this. So it was really cool seeing all those names kind of listed. Uh, 
Yeah, it's ridiculous. Confirmed Blake's mom's weapon is a giant fan. Uh, I mean, like, we didn't... The, the biggest reason why I don't remember specifically who in fairy tale Kent Williams was was because I was busy uh, talking with him most of the time about either being Hattori Soma in Fruits Basket or the fact that he was George Saltome the ogre slash narrator for Yu Yu Hakusho. It's Fruits Basket and Yu Yu Hakusho, <laughs> two of my I big love fruits favorites. Basket. Oh, I just love it. Yeah, oh, he's Hattori. He plays Hattori. I know that. Oh, and I have it's a amazing. <laughs> Hattori is uh, like one of the coolest. Is one of the only cool adults. Which, true. I, we should probably when you've got there. when yeah. you've got Ayame and Shigure and yeah. freaking Akito as the other three uh, adults uh, to compare uh, to, Hattori is immediately gonna win. <laughs> You're just like all, yes, this. all the way. All right, so back to Ruby. I think we should talk. Yeah, about the that thing that we've been talking about. That's a good idea. About. I didn't know what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh great! I get to be the adult of this conversation. That's great. Yeah, well, you, so you've fun. always been. Ah, oh, don't remind me. I I adulted once. I, it was I it was very hard. <laughs> it was it was very not it was very not good. Was okay, like, like the, the minute. Ago. I, I will say this about the white fan guys. The minute one of them said, you know, we do not condone Brother Adam's actions, I'm like, yeah, you do. You're working for yeah. him. Don't lie to me. And then the minute they go down the stairs, they're like, we must inform Brother Adam. I'm like, called it. Yep. Yeah, you guys yeah. are a cult. It was You're blatantly a obvious. Quit. Oh, also, I think uh, the one that had the ears that stuck up, I think that yeah, was Finnick. Finnick. Yeah, Finnick Fox. Finnick Sweet. Fox. Yeah! Yeah, they called him Brother like Finnick. That again. That, okay. Pokemon. I get the feeling oh, this is gonna be like Fox the Church of Blood in um, DC Comics. I feel like that's what the White Fang's eventually <laughs> gonna be. Is it's just they're gonna have this one guy at the top? And they're like, you know, Brother Blood, and he'll be like, "I told you not to call me that." It's see, it's... see, last episode dropped a lot of bombs. This one, I think not they were so taking much. it a little too easy. It's like, hey, all of this horrible stuff that's going on, and all this deep secretive stuff, and here's Honolulu. But it makes you want really? more, though. Like, it makes you want to more, know more stuff. Cause you're just like, yeah, but I want to know more active. stuff. If yeah, but the sad up. part is, the sad part is, with this episode, I wanted to know more stuff, just not about Blake. But if, Blake if, if, is If Menagerie is Hawaii, does that make Blake and Son Lilo and Stitch? Ah, oh, dude, yes, can we? please. Can, can we? Someone draw this fan art. Send it to please. me. Someone fan art I it. love you I if you do. I want to make this my Phone wallpaper now, please send it. Peter okay, Pan is my crying. homie at gmail.com. Send it there. I love you're, you. So you're listen, you get that, send it to me. <laughs> yeah. You guys are craw- you guys are calling for fan art and yet I'm sitting here going, Okay, well Michael Jones, can you just say Ohana means family and just please! Of it? Please in, yes! at, in, Dude, as it son. As son. Say it as please. son. I would be like I, I find it hilarious. The White Fang attacks Menagerie, to... and it's just like, hey, guys, don't you know Ohana means family? They're like, son, what does that even mean? Family! <laughs> I don't know. I've been on this island for a week. That's the only word here I've learned. But there is no fancy lingo. Then I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> True. <laughs> then who told me Ohana? Uh, <laughs> it's just Blake's mom all along. <laughs> no, no, no. You hear... You you hear? Then who the heck taught me Ohana? Just in the back, you hear Ohana. <laughs> yes, boy. I should have. I should have mentioned that earlier. That I actually do that as well. That is beautiful, dude. Ohana means family. Family means Blake loves red fang. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep, I'm, 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 I'm keeping an eye on our time for us. I'm keeping an eye on our time it, for Ruby. us. So. Yeah, I'm watching too. Okay, uh, so... Tyrion. Yeah, uh, Tyrion. Uh, Tyrion. Also, it was great to see the adorable barmaiden again. I feel like Tyrion may kill her. Yeah. Yep. Or I'm just more she... worried about the fact that she's working a double shift. Like... <laughs> <That's true. laughs> you get paid minimum wage? What is their minimum wage? I mean, and also, so, you have to consider, uh, we don't know how much time has lapsed between the last episode and this one, so, like, hey, has she just foreign, been there? This is a foreign territory. Unlike the, uh, uh, unlike the U.S., they may not have to rely on tips. She may get paid, paid a decent wage. Paid a decent wage. Paid a decent wage. She paid what? a decent wage. Why? Because she's the finest. 
Well, I mean, I mean, know? let's Actually, face it. No, no, I'm stupid. I mean, let's Forget face it. If they pay you it. really poorly, then they're just pissing money away. Hey. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is the back. pun episode. This is the pun episode. Uh, this is the. It's funny, it's so this is the Richie fucked up and has to try and bring it all back together kind of episode. That's what really yeah. it is. Sorry, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. It's me. It's it's all me. I mean, I in my defense, I am distracted by Final Fantasy 15. Not uh, at isn't? the moment. Not at the moment. I'm not playing it right now. But I was playing it before this, and it just. It felt like, oh, God, I got to do the Ruby episode. Even though I really was looking forward to it, it's just shit went down. Uh, check out episode or uh, check out part 18 on my playthrough of uh, Final Fantasy 15. And Links in the description. And just sub, uh, just no, sub well, to every yeah, sub. To give me, you just give him all the money. You just sub. You just sub. All, all of it. Life so gaming. schnerious. Oh, my God. No. That... Oh, she's got the air horn. Wait, you gotta put the air horn into it! <laughs> if you're gonna do the air horn right, you gotta play the one song that we are number one. You know what? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, number one. Hey! So anyway, I was distracted. <laughs> yes. So anyway, I'm a bit distracted by that. So if I don't seem as enthusiastic about this review, that's partially because the episode was a little more light and fluffy and there wasn't a lot to really go over True. they just stuck with one story note for the end well i'm sorry time. that it can't be raining blood over in menagerie <laughs> it probably is over in the desert regions however <laughs> oh oh that's it that's it the that's what desert... i'm waiting for though is okay, the desert region the... of menagerie yeah. has to have a sandworm no no raid. that's the whole thing <laughs> right you don't understand you don't understand okay where the faunus are living that portion that's hawaii the rest of the the desert and all that the rest of it that's australia yeah i like australia they have all the deadly koala! animals. Koala Grim, Kangaroo Grim. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. I want to see them okay. fight a Kangaroo Grim. Okay, 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 okay. Like they're, they're, the high no, I mean, I know this already happened in Zootopia, there has to be but I'm waiting hulud. for the. Uh, there has I know to they be already, the sandworm. I know that they've already done this in Zootopia, but I, I'm waiting to see that their bureaucracy is all run. By like, if you have to go somewhere for documentation or something, it's all sloth faunus. You know, that would be you fair. Know, you know, you know they Nora could would it, cry. We could make it a an homage to Zootopia and the whole DMV be uh, running by sloths no. thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. What, what? What did you what, say? What? I, I, said, I said we could make it a Blakeocracy. Oh dear lord. Oh. Hey. hey. I like I like your thinking, sis. Thank you. <laughs> I learned it from you. Yeah. Okay. Continue. <laughs> sadly, sadly, not the best teacher to learn things from. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Don't real be though. jealous. For real though. Don't be horses, jealous. grass is cheaper. Buy some oats, you can get all three. For real though. The what now? Sheikh Halud. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but we gotta have the sandworm font. Uh, Grim. Sandworm Grim. Oh yes. The last I just, I just want them to walk out there. And Sun be like, why do you guys never explore anywhere? And we see a caravan roll out of town, and then the sandworm just comes up and eats the caravan and drags it down underneath the sand. It's like, because of that. And it's like, why. Could it please be cool. an Alaskan bullworm from Spongebob? The dust must <laughs> flow. We should take the menagerie and put it somewhere else. <laughs> oh, my God. Push it. Push it. No. Well, someone's going to do that. See, I, kept it, I kept with the Dune reference there. I said the dust must flow. So, yeah, I know. I got you. I got you. I combined. I combined Ruby and. Yes. <laughs> I combined Ruby and Dune. Dune is life. And SpongeBob, because I mean, come on. Guys. No, you that, use SpongeBob. Hardcore. I didn't say anything about. Hey, SpongeBob. hey, no, I'm saying I contributed something to this because this is kind of beautiful. I mean, uh, SpongeBob. Uh, who doesn't I'm love just it? Here. TikTok. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk, people. <laughs> True. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I think we are almost out of time. Yeah, no, so I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we were a lot more silly today and not nearly as on topic as we normally are. And yeah, that's I apologize for the audience. Okay, so really quickly, uh, Blue, what did you think of the episode? It was great. It was really good. I'm glad we get to know more about Adam, and I hope later on in the future, Adam kills Blake's mom. I hope that Adam dies, okay? And then that too. I, I, I think we'll pro. I think we'll probably see a fight between Adams, uh, and or Adam and 
Blake's father, at the very least. But I want the mom to be in the mix, see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. If it does happen, if there is a fight between Adam and Blake's dad, Adam has to strike him down and go, Long live the king. Please! Oh, dude! What I also want to happen is, like, uh, the reverse the first father. thing where... His name is Adam, not Scar. Well, it's well. We don't Close know. Enough. He could have scars underneath that mask. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, dun, dun. that's the theory. There because Blake. Hey, hey, Weiss know, has a scar. Hey. She's a cat in his face. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Yarn. Celeste, what do you think of the episode? Well, be real. Want to know what I thought? I yeah. thought it was pretty legit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. It was kind of cool to have kind of like a laid back episode, but at the That's same true. time, I'm just like, give me blood. Uh, I mean, dude. Uh, okay. I, I like the action scenes; they're pretty cool, and I want Yang to get back in the freaking battlefield and just kick ass again. I just want that so freaking bad. All right, so, but yeah. with her new robotic arm, she'll have even more strength to carry the team. Yeah. And then I want Penny yes. to be salutations. I, I no, think I, I honestly once once like I, once Yang starts seriously uh, using the arm, better arm, stop talking. The about arm it. is going to straight out be like salutations. <laughs> I, and I want Ruby to be like, "Oh, nice new arm, sis. Salutations." What? Is well, there's a penny. penny no. There's a penny for and your thoughts. And Yang's like, "This has never happened before." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, your Richie, okay. your thoughts on the episode. Oh no! It's actually you. My thoughts are last. Oh, Psst. well, I'm I thought I was the adult not here. You, but you're I'm the, the adult, adult here. But I'm yeah, you're the adult, but I'm the host. Uh, okay, Way then to get fine. Hosted. As, as, as the adult, I'll make the the serious evaluation of the episode. I I felt it was good, but it lacked a little bit in terms of actual story progression. It it definitely was a <laughs> world building episode, but it lacked mm. any real story progression in Except my Except that like the very very end. But he loves it because Sun was there. Yes, True. because my beautiful cinnamon bun was there. Yeah. There's just one person <laughs> per son he bun. cares about in that show. Okay. Well the episode. No, I just care about all my blondes. I like I like Jean, I like Sun, I like Yang. That's that's about it. Yeah Yang. She's pretty legit. I'm a little sunny dragon. Oh don't worry. And I love Yang, you, I guess. Ruby. All right. Um, so I thought it was I thought it was okay. Um, I definitely felt like there was more going on with the ending than there was with most of the episode. True. But I, I, it wasn't just world building; it was also kind of character building in yeah. a way because with her parents, or at least her mother, I was I was pretty sure of how the father's dynamic was gonna be. Like I I realized that hmm. Blake that Papa Blake, as I like to call Papa him, Papa Belladonna. No, he's Papa Blake. Papa B. Blake. He's Blake's daddy. Yeah, da- Big Daddy B. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Big Daddy give B. Give him a gold chain, everyone. B. Give Done. him. He already has the fur on. Right. Just give him a gold chain. So, yeah. so Big Daddy B. Uh, <laughs> uh, so really quickly, uh, I, I, I had already figured out what kind of personality type he was going to be. He's going to be the loving dad and any boy around her, around his little girl. <laughs> so I was like, boys, <laughs> boys, I remember we very made that joke like two episodes ago. We basically, uh. we basically covered, we basically covered his entire dynamic and personality with Blake. Two episodes the, ago. <laughs> no, we in can... just the intro. Oh. True. Well, yeah. I was saying you and me covered it two episodes with the whole boys. <laughs> boys. <laughs> Is basically yeah. Uh, uh, I, I also, can I just point out the irony that uh, that she's like he followed me home, and I'm like the monkey followed the cat home. Isn't it usually the other way around? The cat monkey see monkey the... do. <laughs> well, you could say he's curious George, oh my God. but like no. more like curious son. But still, <laughs> now we just need the man in the yellow hat. <laughs> oh my God, they are horns again. Uh... <laughs> Who has a yellow hat? I don't even know. Does anyone have a yellow hat in the show? If they do, I feel like Oh, I'm I just stupid. realized something. Uh, two things, Richie, before we close out the episode. Uh, one, uh, with the ending of the episode, I realized Tyrion versus Crow confirmed. We yes. know it's going to happen. Oh, definitely. That's going to happen. It's, it's going to be uh, amazing. Two, I was very disappointed that the ship was not called the Black Sun and that it didn't sink the minute they got into port. I'm pretty disappointed about that. We can still make it our own. 
<laughs> There's Look, still a fandom do, for a reason. What you do in your yep. own head, Canon, is is I know, but it would have been nice to see it happen. <laughs> No, that would have ruined the entire Hawaii vibe that they had. Honestly, no, because then I would have loved it. Because one guy going around (laughs) putting lays on people as soon as they depart the ship. No, I I would have loved that because then the ship would sink, and then like the I would have loved it if one of the fish stall dudes looked over at the ship going down and went bummer, and just looked back at his fish and started selling fish again. I found Nemo (laughs) and Dory and Hugo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At this point. At this point, it's it's basically. I think we've wrapped up final thoughts pretty good. You're welcome. Yeah, I think we've You're ra- welcome wrapped. For today. We've we've wrapped up something. I feel You're like basically welcome. all they really were missing was putting lays on people when True. when they debarked the ship, and of course, Sun in his stupid fashion would be like, "Hey, I got laid." <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> he would. I mean, let's face it. After the whole True. trying to, your fa- your daughter's got some moves. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Say, having son say he got laid. Wouldn't... Next episode, <laughs> next please, late episode, it has please. to happen. not even be beyond Im- uh, imagining. Like that's something that son probably could in canon True. say. But then he's getting it's like, uh, why is he here? He followed me home. All right, <laughs> if, if <laughs> anything. <laughs> If if anything, I think the next episode is probably going to be very Weiss heavy. But I hope so. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that it actually focuses on what's going on with uh, Tyrion, uh, Team Ranger, and Crow. I also still like to oh. see a little bit of Weiss though. That'd be nice. I I want to see Yang, but yeah, I do want to see a little more Weiss. I feel like there was a bit of Weiss, but not. A lot, a lot of Weiss. Well, we're gonna like, see a lot, a lot, a lot of Weiss when she has to perform. So that's I, yeah, that's, I know. You you know saw I only yes. needed to see that half of an episode to know that I don't give a damn about what's happening in Weiss's life until one of the others shows uh, up in it. Uh, uh, At this point, sure. I'm more interested in Oscar than I am in Weiss. Well, Weiss is uh-huh. just oh. like, well, Weiss oh. is just confined because she can't do anything. Weiss cold, so, oh Hey, <laughs> this raises a question. If, if Weiss was kicked out of Team Ruby and Oscar joined, it could still work. Yeah. Oh, dude, it should! <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> it's like a ghost. Wait, wait. Ruby. Team um, Ruby. That's the Halloween version. Ruby. <laughs> Oscar joins the team and it's just like, hey, I'm Oscar and I'm Ozpin and we're Team Double O. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> so it, it works. Still out. Team Ruby. Alrighty. So that's it for us, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, Make sure if you want to check out uh, these episodes, you can go to the Rooster Teeth website or their YouTube channel. Or if you uh, would like to watch them on Crunchyroll, uh, one of the best ways to do that is to get yourself a premium account. And you can get a 30-day free trial for premium by going to (laughs) – hold on – by going to Crunchyroll.com slash FTPodcast. That's it for us, guys. Again, if you want to check out – their abridged stuff. Uh, their abridged stuff. That's a great. Or yes, link in the description. I believe it's called Dust to Dust Productions. Yee. Hey. Yep. Yee. Or not the that clever. Dust flow. The dust must <laughs> flow. Alrighty. <laughs> the dust must flow. Just the dust must flow. Hey, hey.